And right now we're looking at a stadium sit down centered around the Sox. The team wants to make a move from guaranteed rate field up the street to the 78 at the corner of Clark and Roosevelt. But the road to get there must go through Springfield. That's where Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf is right now. He hopes to get public money for that move. Political reporter Marianne Ahern has the latest from the state capitol. Jerry Reinsdorf has meetings here in Springfield late this afternoon with the four top legislative leaders, two Democrats, two Republicans. As of yet, though, no face-to-face -face meeting with Governor J.B. Pritzker. The White Sox plans to build a new stadium along the river near Roosevelt Road needs a big boost of $1 billion from the taxpayers. Even before owner Jerry Reinsdorf meets personally late this afternoon with lawmakers, there is skepticism from Republican Senate leader John Curran. I don't know what I don't know what the plan is. I'm not going to comment on it until I actually uh, uh, and present it with it and have an opportunity to understand it. The importance of keeping them in the area. According to Crane Chicago Business, Reinsdorf and the developer Related Midwest are seeking to use Chicago's revenue from the hotel occupancy tax. They're also hoping to create a tax overlay district to subsidize the new stadium. People have a lot of pride in their sports teams, but it's also entertainment. And we have a lot of very real human issues. And so my focus right now is going to be on um, continuing to bring our chamber together around managing those human issues and they will continue to do what they do. Because already, I mean, early polls show most of the public says, hey, build your own stadium, <laughs> right? Uh, listen, you, you and I have read the same polls. Of course, Jerry Reinsdorf and the White Sox, they're not the only ones looking for a Springfield lifeline. The Chicago Bears, they've come calling to lawmakers as well, and they have been met with the same cool reception. From the state capitol, Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News.